Hi Dan, I watched all the videos you recommended that were on GodTube. Uh, the videos made by Gordon Glover and he's selling his book called Beyond the Firmament. Uh, he's a theistic evolutionist. Um, it, it's hard to tell, you know, I, I, I'm assuming he's a Christian. He doesn't talk a lot about Christianity as far as his belief and what supports Christianity. Um, he is more into talking about evolution and how we should um, keep science separate from uh, from our world view of believing the God of the Bible. Um, there's a lot to address there and there's two different video series, but in this video I'm just going to address uh, the one uh, what's so good about evolution and in that uh, you know the Darwin's tree of life um, all these groups um, are kind of nested uh, smaller groups into larger groups and and so they all eventually form down to the main stem of the tree where we all came from single cell organisms according to Darwin so um, thinking about if the world was created through um, evolution then everything in that Darwin tree of life would have a uh, similar DNA through that so I don't know how they did this because I'm not a biologist and uh, so a lot of it I have to go by what he says so it's like well, how do you refute something like this uh, there's a, a they found a marker that goes throughout all living animals to prove that we all came from a common ancestor. So I'm going to just give you a little a little clip on on what he said. And finally, if DNA testing of the species were not able to trace different genetic markers through the same patterns of nested biological groups that are inferred by comparative anatomy, then this, too, would be unmistakable proof against evolution. But as we've already seen, DNA testing overwhelmingly confirms the relationships between the species. Now, Glover was not very good about giving the creation perspective on what does that mean to us if there is a genetic marker that runs through all of the DNA of every different kind of animal that is similar. I mean, Myself, as a, as a Christian who believes that God created the earth, as it says in the Bible, um, I don't have a difficulty in that because to me and other people like me, we see that as a common designer and that, um, you know, God's fingerprint should be throughout all of that. Um, so I don't have any difficulty with it. But just to keep things fair... Um, there is a creationist side to what the DNA information is telling us when it comes to the similarities in um, all of animal kingdom. So I'm going to also um, put up a clip from a video called Icons of Evolution on the same topic. A hand and it would show a bat's wing and a Wells flipper and say because they have similar structure and similar bone pattern that they must share a common ancestor. And then the five very long fingers just like yours. The mere pattern of the bones doesn't tell you how it happened. You have to supply a mechanism to explain how it got that way. Well Darwin's mechanism as understood by modern Darwinists was genetic you inherited similar genes and these genes made the bones grow the way they do. The problem is that the evidence doesn't fit that explanation. According to modern Darwinism, if two structures are similar because of common ancestry, each structure should be produced by similar genes and go through a similar pattern of development in the embryo. But contrary to these predictions, biologists are learning that homologous structures can be produced by different genes and follow different patterns of development. For example, biologists consider the body segments of fruit flies and wasps as homologous. Darwinism predicts that these similarities should be due to the same gene. But in fact, different genes account for the development of body segments in these insects. 
This contradicts the idea that homology must point to common ancestry. In the same way, many body structures considered homologous by biologists develop in embryos in fundamentally different ways. One example is the gut in vertebrates. If the Darwinian theory were correct, the process by which the gut is constructed should itself be homologous. In fact, this isn't the case. We know, for instance, that in different vertebrates, the gut is constructed in very different ways during development. In sharks, the gut develops from cells in the roof of the embryonic cavity. In lampreys, the gut develops from cells on the floor of the embryonic cavity. And in frogs, the gut develops from cells in both the roof and the floor. So you have a homologous structure in vertebrates that is built in one way in a shark, in one way in a lamprey, in another way in frogs, and you've got these very different developmental pathways converging to the same structure. This is very hard to reconcile with Darwinian common descent. These marine reptiles were built on much the same time as you are. I would say in the past 20 years of studying this problem that biology is now entering what can only be described as a revolution because the evidence is so overwhelmingly against the conventional neo-Darwinian view. So it seems to me that evolution is trying really hard to look for uh, evidence that proves their point, but not really bringing forth mm -hmm. evidence that that could go against their theory of evolution. Mm -hmm. And um, for a scientific theory to be strong, it, there has to be prove be able to prove it um, mm -hmm. falsifiable, right? And um, I don't know. Well, do we look at the difference? We should look at the differences, not just the similarities. And um, I think creationism has a lot to bring to the table. Anyway, here's some cute little pictures of birds at the end of my video. Because they were flying around distracting me, so that's why my video seems sort of, you know, well, I'm lame, you know. Go ahead. Make make a mock of me. That's what you guys do best. And now I know you you're not Dan, you're a good guy, but the rest of them out there. Little baby bird. Yeah. Flying around in the goat barn. It looks like it gets four of them. Oh, there he goes. That little hairdo. Cute little bird. Another cute little baby. I'm trying to make my video. This little guy is flying around in the barn. Can't figure out how to get out, so I'm gonna I caught him. Look at the little hairdo. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I'm going to put you out. Be with your brothers and sisters. Okay. You ready to go? You ready to go? Where are you going to go? Huh? 